And welcome out to Green and High School. I am Bryant Billing alongside Casey Madison. And we are here for another two-on-one video interview on the Top Billing Sports Network with Green and Head Coach Kevin Ferguson, who's entering his first season with the Knights. Coach, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. First off, talk a little bit about your team and what you have coming back this season. Well, we got a good, a good uh, core coming back. Uh, we'll be led by our uh, junior quarterback, Andy Horton, will be coming back. Uh, we got a couple offensive linemen coming back. Jacob Wetzel will be back. He'll be a senior for us this year. On the defensive side of the ball, Cole Lewis will be back at starting middle backer. Tyra Stahl will be back um, at cornerback. Ty will also play some wing back for us as well. Um, and we got Jamison Lawrence coming back for us at fullback as well. So we've got a good group of uh, core guys coming back. So the, the future looks good for us this year. And coach, it helps benefit you since you were on the staff for a couple of years. You know the you know the talent. You know mm -hmm. that you've built a rapport with these kids. Mm -hmm. um, what would be something new that you would you would bring to the attitude this year? Um, one thing that we're really looking at, and one thing that we really stressed in our off season, and we've spent a lot of time on, is um, our passing game. We really want. Last year we were really run central. We're still going to be running the triple this year. But one thing that that we kind of, as a coaching staff, went out and did in the off season was do some research. How can we incorporate a, a more um, wide open pass game into our run game as well. Um, so we have more of a balanced look. So that's one thing that we really worked on in our camp days. Um, we've gone to a few seven on sevens. We really look good there. So that's something I'm really excited about to see uh, how Andy can, can do in, a, in kind of a more wide open style offense this year. You look at the last two seasons. Last season you were 1-9, you were 0-10 the year before that, your first season. But I know last year you guys started playing well as the year went mm -hmm. on. You broke that losing streak with that win mm -hmm. over Benjamin Logan. You feel you've maintain that momentum that you built towards the end of last season into this year? Absolutely, absolutely. I think we got a lot of momentum coming into this this season. Um, a lot more. Um, it's almost like a, you know, the kids have, it's almost like a rebirth for them this year. Okay. Um, they've really been excited. We've had our, for the first time our numbers are up. Right now we're in the mid 40s. The last few years we've been kind of down in the low 30s. So we've got a good group of kids. Um, we just got to get them to compete with each other right now. And that's the one big selling point that, that we've been kind of talking with them on is just going out every day and competing and you know nothing's set in stone you know go out there and earn your spot every day but uh, the kids seem really excited um i think that whenever ben logan kind of started to get them on the track that hey we can do this hey we can turn the corner and, and i think this is going to be a year where, where we're going to come out and hopefully surprise some people this year you know you get right underway with a tough non-conference schedule with yeah. that First uh, week there, that's a big team there in West Liberty Salem. It's done a lot. Yeah, we we got our hands, our we got work cut out for us week one. But that's you know I like it that way because I, I told the kids you know we're working to week one, we're working to West Liberty, and we'll find out what kind of team we have. Um, I like to open up with them um, because hey, we're gonna we'll have a backs up against the ball right off the bat. So we'll get that one out of the way and we'll learn from it and and build and grow and you know I I think. Uh, no guarantees off the bat here, but I like the direction we're going in. I think it's going to it's going to be a different game than it was last year. The Mad River Division has been pretty pretty balanced. Once you get past the top spot, Urbana has been the cream of the crop for the last mm -hmm. couple of years, and obviously that's where you guys are focused to try to get mm -hmm. to that angle. But you know, everybody else two through two through the rest are pretty you know pretty competitive. And yeah, we're right there. If you look at last season, um, obviously we had a tough one against Urbana, but then you like and Indian Lake. I'd put Indian Lake up there. Uh, right there with our band, but you look at Graham Northwestern and ourselves and Ben Logan. I mean, we were all kind of right there beating up on each other last year. So it's just whichever team's going to step up and take that next step and, and you know rise to the top there. And I think I think we've got we've got the athletes and we got the kids to to do that this year. And when you're trying to build a program and just trying to get wins, mm -hmm. it's it's one game at a time for you. And the attitude for you guys. Isn't Absolutely, it? yeah, one game at a time. Um, we can't get ahead of, ahead of ourselves, and we're just, our, our biggest thing this year, and I've been harping on it all off seasons. We just, we got to improve every day, every day. We got to get better. We got to get better. We got to get better. We got to be playing our. Uh, I want to be playing our best football when we get into our side of the conference at the end of the season. And then, of course, your conference rivals in Northwestern always the last game of the year for you guys. Mm -hmm. You haven't known them being bad since you've been here at Greenan because they've been good the last couple mm -hmm. of years, but. They were perennially one of the worst teams in Clark County, but Coach Whiting, another young guy, yeah. has picked them up the last couple mm -hmm. of years. I gotta think, as you guys watch them being your rivals, mm -hmm. you think, man, we can replicate that and we can beat them. 
Absolutely. Sean's done a great job over there. And and that's what that's what I've been telling our kids, you know. When you when you look at the Shawnees, when you look at the Urbans, when you look at the teams that are, are top dog in our league, you know, there there's really, you know, you can be those guys is what I've been trying to tell 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 our guys is that hey, you're right there. You just gotta put in the extra work, you gotta put in the extra time. You know, they're high school kids just like you are. You know, and that's you know, the only difference between you and them is just the uniform they wear. So that's one of the big selling points that you know, just getting our kids to believe, you know, when, when you've struggled, when you've gone through the struggles that we've had the last two years, that's kind of the hardest thing. So our off-season program, I've been really happy with our off-season program. We have good attendance. The kids are starting to buy in and starting to come around and say, hey, you know, we belong here. We can do some good things. Here. And you know, you as well, being around as a coach and uh, that your senior leadership really yeah. is what helps lead the team. Absolutely. And, and uh, just talk a little uh, about your seniors. We've got year. a great group of seniors. We've got 14 seniors out for us this year. That's by far the most we've had in a long time here. Some of those guys are first-year guys who, who have played in the past and maybe not have come out for one reason or another, but decided, hey, this year I want to come back mm -hmm. for my senior year. So we've got a great group of seniors, and that's one thing I've pulled those guys aside and said, you know, where you want to take this team is up to you. You know, we're, you, 14 seniors, the team's on your back you know, take us where we, we need to go. And they've really responded. They've really done a nice job of taking the young guys underneath their belts during the, uh, the camp season, during our off season, and kind of getting those kids up to speed. And um, so I'm excited. You know, I, I think we've got great leadership out of our senior group this year. And, of course, one of the things you got to like football-wise here at Greenan is this complex. It is a beautiful stadium you have to play absolutely. every Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I would – I'd be hard pressed to find a better <laughs> facility in the CBC right now. Um, one thing that, and I got to give um, a lot of, a lot of props to my coaching staff. We've really done hard work this off season, going out, getting some new facilities in the weight room, trying to expand our weight room, um, and trying to make this, you know, one of the top facilities in the CBC, which it, it, you know, it already is, but just keep improving it as we go. So, so in London last year, you know, that was one of those nail buyers week two. We took, yes. we took a harder one against West Liberty. Um, and I really liked the way the kids responded last year and came back. And we, we lost a tough one last year, 6 to nothing to London. So we get them at our place this year. So we're looking to, you know, hand one back to them this year. <laughs> and sure. speaking of the hill climbers, London opens up with that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's one game we'll be watching closely and uh, yeah. seeing what London has for us this year and seeing what Urbana's going to have for us down the road as well. What will be your big goals for the season then? Our big goals is to, number one, improve every week. Um, obviously, we want to finish top half in our division in the CBC Mad River. Um, we want to, uh, the kids have put together some individual offensive goals that we want to try to reach. We want to try to, you know, have a more balanced look this year, rushing and passing the ball. And on defense, we, we got to play the better defense this year. So that's one thing. We got to get our point totals down. We got to get our total, total yards down. So that's one thing that we're looking for is to fly around on defense and, and really compete when we get out there. All right, sounds good. Coach Ferguson, thank you for joining us here on the Top Billing Sports Network on this two-on-one video interview series. Practice is picking up for Coach Ferguson and the Knights and all other teams, and we'll have all the coverage this season on the Top Billing Sports Network. And this video has been brought to you by O'Connor's Irish Pub at 2336 Northmore Drive in Springfield. They're the best place for food and spirits in Springfield. For Casey Madison, I'm Brian Billing. We'll see you next time.